Pakistan and United States. Two countries, one story. Brace yourself for a startling revelation. The assassination attempts on Donald Trump and Imran Khan bear shocking similarities. On November 2022, Imran Khan was shot in Wazirabad at a political rally in the same manner that Donald Trump was shot on July 14, 2024, during a campaign rally in Butler County, Pennsylvania. In both incidents, 14 people were wounded. Tragically, one of Khan's supporters, Muazzam Nawaz, succumbed to his injuries, while one Trump supporter was killed and two others were critically injured. Let's delve deep into the motives behind these failed assassination attempts. Imran Khan has been blatantly vocal about a US-led foreign conspiracy that also involved Pakistan's powerful military establishment and his political rivals in his removal from his office. While Trump has been vocal of deep state involvement in state affairs, the former US president attributes resistance to his policies to an unholy alliance of American bureaucrats and diplomats. Typically, the term deep state evokes the idea of a clandestine group of powerful figures, including spies, criminals, military leaders, and businessmen who wield true influence behind the scenes. Both leaders speak dramatically of the unmistakable fingerprints of an unseen hand meddling with the very fabric of state affairs. Another striking similarity is that right after the assassination attempt on Imran Khan, surviving three bullet injuries, he waved his fist in front of his people, showing courage and character. In the same manner, Donald Trump showed the courage and character waving a fist in front of his supporters. The parallels extend to media coverage intensification and the propagation of conspiracy theories around these events. Both leaders continued their public engagements defiantly, underscoring their resilience and determination to pursue their political missions despite the risks. These incidents also highlighted vulnerabilities in security protocols for high-profile figures. How come a shooter had a clear line of sight on a container in presence of security? Despite the attempted assassinations, both leaders condemned violence and reaffirmed their commitment to democratic processes, resonating with global audiences concerned about political stability. The concept of a deep state has been invoked in discussions surrounding both Donald Trump and Imran Khan, in Trump's case, he has publicly alleged that a deep state within the U.S. government has been working against his presidency, undermining his policies and authority. This narrative suggests covert bureaucratic forces influencing political decisions beyond elected officials' control. Conversely, in Imran Khan's context, critics have debated whether entrenched bureaucratic within Pakistan's government, often referred to as the establishment, exert undue influence over political affairs. This debate centers on military and intelligence agencies' roles in shaping policy and governance, sometimes at odds with civilian leadership. These assertions highlight ongoing suspicions and complex power dynamics where perceived deep state involvement can impact democratic processes and governance stability. The interview of the shooter involved in the case of Imran Khan's attack has sparked significant controversy and intrigue. During the interview, the shooter claimed to have acted independently, alleging personal grievances against Imran Khan's policies and leadership. Similarly, in a revealing interview, a former classmate of the shooter who targeted Donald Trump has described him as a loner who experienced bullying during their school years. The timing of both these interviews appears suspicious. Moreover, the words used in both interviews, I acted alone in case of Imran Khan, and the shooter was a loner in case of Donald Trump strive to build the narrative that shooters in both cases acted alone. As we conclude our exploration of the parallel experiences of Imran Khan and Donald Trump in facing assassination attempts, it becomes clear that these incidents transcend mere political anecdotes. They serve as stark reminders of the vulnerabilities and resilience inherent in leadership roles on the global stage. The scrutiny of security protocols and the complexities of deep state allegations underscore the far-reaching impacts of such events on political stability and public perception. Through their survival stories, both leaders have exemplified steadfastness in upholding democratic values amidst adversity.